That's a big fish. Hold on, boss. You're actually smaller than the other one. Thanks for pooping on me. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. Today, got a little challenge. So I'm back at the old Walmart. Uh, I found a kit uh, literally just this morning when I was doing my regular grocery shopping, and I was like, man, I gotta go home and get my camera. I gotta get this kit. Very different style soft plastics. Uh, not something you would normally see in a kit. They're just different. They're a little strange, but I think we can catch fish on them. And I want to go in here and pick them up real quick. Uh, stay tuned, let's do it. All right, guys, so we are here on the old fishing aisle. Let's look for some fishing kits. This. This looks like a pretty good kit. This is a crawl bug kit. What's in here? Look at those. Some pretty good crawls. Yep, this is definitely the one we want to do today. It is uh, 10 bucks. All right, so let's get this kit and go check out and uh, let's get to the pond. Let's go. All right, folks, so we are at the pond now. Different day, obviously. Not even in the same clothes or the same hat. We are gonna try out this yum crawl bug kit uh, we're gonna crack this thing open i never even opened it just purchased it at walmart we're gonna see what kind of stuff we have in it and uh, i brought some extra hooks just in case these are garbage like the other one um, we can't hook anything or they get bent and uh, we've got two rods over there that we can rig up real quick we've got the boat already launched um, i've got the tagging kit in there because we may be tagging fish today if we catch some that aren't tagged that are of decent size so yeah that's the game plan Let's get this thing open and see what it looks like. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Let's get the thing open. All right. I do like the fact that it comes in a nice little case. That's that's pretty sweet. I'm trying to do this with one hand and hold the camera in the other. Not as easy as you would want it to be. Come on, thing. All right. So uh, basically, what I'm seeing here is a uh, small, big size got the smaller version over here the bigger version over here um ooh, they're hollow too i like that that's was my only concern is are these gonna stand up and float a little bit for me uh yeah i kind of like that they're they're hollow they're hollow bodied um it just means they may retain a little bit of uh, a little bit of air they'll have a little bit more popping action and they've got a several different sizes of hooks uh, yeah, these hooks not very good, but we're gonna try to use their stuff. So our goal is to catch one on every color. So we've got black and blue. We've kind of got like a Their take of what kind of looks like an Alabama crawl This looks like watermelon red and then we've got black and red all these colors. I think are great um, I think I am gonna go with the small size today um, I just don't think I'm gonna get any takers to munch the big ones fish in here just aren't that huge we just had a nice blow up over there i don't know if y'all can see the water rippling uh, a fish just stormed the bank over there kind of scared me a little bit anyway that's what we're going to do we're going to focus on this size we're going to leave these bigger sizes alone uh hopefully maintain some integrity to this kit because um well y'all know the deal just stay tuned all right back with old pinky initially i thought oh yeah i'm gonna texas rig this stuff no problem that's what's that's what we're gonna do and uh well i didn't realize they were not providing texas rig for these but now that i know they're kind of hollow body that makes sense i'm gonna go with this medium size uh, i don't know what the weight is on this let me see if they tell us eighth ounce they put these out of order they've got eighth a quarter and a sixteenth sixteenth is the smallest eighth the next and then a quarter so they put these completely out of order sixteenth eighth and a quarter we're gonna go with an eight that's a really good size for this body of water uh, somewhat of a slow sink and uh, yeah that's what we're going with today I think we're gonna start with the old uh, black and red problem is is it's really difficult to make this weedless but I am gonna come through the tail and come out of the back that does look pretty good though yep 
not a whole lot we can do about that. We're going to get hung up. We just got to be careful. All right, let's go see if we can catch them. We can get bit and not hang this thing up like a ton. Because that, uh, that would really stink if we just keep getting hung up all day long. And if they're suspended on these uh, these down tree limbs and down trees, we're just going to be really careful with uh, this little jig head setup we got since it's not weedless. I'm just hitting my high probability areas and moving on. Yeah, there's one. There's one. Oh, geez, he broke off. He was a nice little pounder, I think. I cannot count that. it! We almost got that one cleared out quickly. I mean, I really, I feel like I set the hook on him all right, but apparently I did not. With his jumping, he was able to come off. And that may or may not be a thing on me and more on the hooks. I'm not sure. The hook felt, felt okay. But the last time I did a Walmart challenge out here, those hooks were garbage. But this is a different company. This is from Yum. This is not from Lucky Strike or Luck Strike or whatever. Which, number one, if you're fishing and you name your company Luck Strike, I mean, sheesh. What are you saying? Let's keep him low. All right. We're gonna check you off the list, boss. There we go. All right, little guy. Oh, you're tagged. Let me uh, get my rods put up here, paddle backwards, and we'll uh, log your growth. Uh, let's see what number you are. You are number 1025. Okay, let's see what your, what your, what your growth rate is. Yep, you're gonna be one of our 10, 10 fit. Well, I don't know what his weight was, but I know he was slightly over 10 inches. Um, and that's all I'm gonna be able to log because I can't hold on to a slippery fish, apparently. At least I got a length on him. He was a little over 10 inches, which means I bet you he was one of our fish that when we caught him last time, he was 10 inches, 10 ounces, which is about the average, I don't know, of the fish that we were catching early, early on, 10 inches, 10 ounces. Um, I'm not sure he still felt kind of thin. That's what me and Chris are trying to figure out is these fish are permanently stunted there um, and we need to remove them out because um, we brought in some new blood uh, fish, new generations of fish in here. And uh, that's what we're trying to figure out. But I can at least log his length. Uh, most likely he's lost weight or he's holding at the same fish lose weight in the summer we've covered that in a couple other videos so the weight was not really what I was after I did get the length so that's good he was just slightly over 10 inches um, so if he was a 10 10 fish I can put him at like 10 and a quarter and I think that's safe to say he's growing a little bit uh, but not at the rate we're really hoping for but I don't know when he was tagged 10 25 10 and a quarter inches okie dokie artichoke you ever heard that anyone ever said that all right, so old Mr. Black and Red is done. And uh, we're gonna swap him for, um, let's, let's start with our darker colors. Let's go black and blue. Let's knock black and blue out, because I feel pretty good about the watermelon. Alabama crawl, I could see being a little bit of an issue. Um, but maybe not, I don't know, who, who knows? Do I even know what the heck I'm talking about? I don't think so. All right, we got him rigged up the same. Looks pretty good, nice little black and blue. Uh, the water at the bottom of the pond is usually pretty stained. I think we'll have some luck with that. For real, a year ago, I mean, this place had nothing but little fish in it, half pound fish. And now we've got a couple threes, some twos, a lot of ones. We're gonna have this into a real good fishing pond here in the next two or three years. And you guys are along for the ride. Hopefully, if you haven't already, you've hit the subscribe button and turned the bell on and uh, you can keep up with it too. I'm a little bit timid because I've got an exposed hook. 
probably just need to go for it. What's the worst that could happen? I break off. Oh, that's a big fish. No, he's not. He just hit it and ran. He's a little fish. The way he hit made me think he was big. Hold on, boss. You're actually smaller than the other one. Thanks for pooping on me. I really appreciate that. I hope I got that on camera. You little DA. I mean, you just pooped on me. You, sir, are a jerk. I mean, look at this. Look. Straight up, he pooped on me. Can y'all see that? Fish just took a dump on my, my pants. What a little jerk. You know what, for that, you're getting stuck. I'm gonna stick you, and I'm gonna hang on to you. You are 10 and a half, and you're a little lighter because you took a crap on me. 10 and a half inches, 10 ounces. Yeah, F that, I ain't letting you go. This is how this, this gun works. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna skip his lateral line. There's his lateral line. I don't know if y'all can see that in the, we talked about that in the live stream. Get right underneath his dorsal. Insert that. He is number 1040. Get out of here, you jerk. Oh. He pooped on me. All right, so uh, black and blue, done. We're done with that guy. Let's go to the one that I think is going to be the most difficult, just because I, I'm uncertain about it, I'm just unsure. I consider this to be their take on an Alabama crawl, like an Alabama bug, a little bit of pumpkin, a little bit of orange. Um, not really a bad color. Uh, I think it's a pretty good looking color. There we go. Inhaled it. You swam toward me. I hope you're not too bad gut hooked. My bad, boss. Don't poop on me. All right, let's see. Uh, can I get a length on you, maybe? Maybe a weight? Maybe tag you? Yeah, you're a better fish. You're 11 and a half inches. 13 ounces. So... You were not previously put in here, which is a good thing, because I don't think you were this big a year ago. All right, so we got 11 and a half inches, 13 ounces. Little stick here, buddy. And you, sir, are gonna be 1041. 11 and a half inches. 13 ounces, number 1041. Thanks for playing, getting rid of that crawl for me. And uh, I think you're ready to go. There you go. You ready? You didn't have to do all that, but okay. So we have cleared three of the four. We've actually tagged two fish. Um, and we caught one that was tagged already. Only got a measurement on him. Y'all saw that, because I'm an idiot. Can't hold on to a fish. Um, I'm, I just always want to be a little bit more gentle with them than I should be. And let's get out this watermelon red. I'm actually not as worried about this as I kind of let on, because there is a lot of red flake in that. I mean, a lot of red flake in that. Which, again, crawfish, kind of a darker red, so we can trigger a bite off that, that'd be wonderful. It kind of blends in with the water, but that red pops a little bit. I think we're gonna be all right. I think it's a fish. Oh, you are a little dinker. You gotta be the smallest one of the day. Gotta be. Luckily, it looks like you just pooped. Little stupid stinker. I think I wanna get you too. 
just because I'm in the mood to tag all fish today. If I don't drop you, you're gonna be a 10 10 of it or less. Son of a bitch. It's those small ones. He was about 10 and a quarter as well. About the same size as the one I let get away. Story of my life. I try to be way too gentle. All right, folks, so that's a wrap on this one. We got the watermelon red crawl. This guy right here checked off the list. And that's going to do it for all the colors in the smaller version. Um, what did it actually classify this as? Two and a half inch crawl bug. So we had three and a quarter was the next step up. And as you saw, everything that was biting today, teeny tiny fish. I could have probably used the bigger one and gone after bigger fish. We just don't have a ton of those two and three pound class fish in here. So I didn't want to risk that. Uh, big fish will still eat small crawfish uh, like this, but clearly the small ones also eat it. So it just gave me a better odds. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let's get back on shore and wrap this thing up. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for today's video. And if you stuck around this long, y'all know what's about to happen. Challenge video means I give this thing away and I'm actually pretty impressed with it. The hooks on it were actually really, really good as opposed to that Lux Strike. Uh, kit that I did that ringworm kit uh, a couple weeks ago. This thing actually held together pretty well I like the consistent. I, I mean, I like yum products anyway the uh, The hardness to softness ratio of these soft plastics. I think was right on point. I like that it was hollow I mean, it's very realistic. You can swim it through the water. I think it looks awesome So I'm gonna give it away and you know what you got to do all you got to do is leave a like on this video leave a comment below on how what I want the comment to be I don't really care what you comment. Let me know if you like the challenge videos because I'm kind of on this challenge kick right now. Um, if you do like the challenge videos, let me know. Let me know what kind of challenge you want to see in the future because um, we saw some more kits at Walmart. Also, this is very, very important. In the comment, your comment has to contain hashtag Team B Fishing. Hashtag Team B Fishing in the comments. Um, that's a requirement because if you made it this far, I truly want to know that you are on Team B Fishing. And as always, hit the subscribe button, turn it from red to gray, hit the ding dong notifications if you want to. All that does is send you an email anytime I release a new video, lets you know, lets you, lets you stay on the up and up if you want to keep winning these giveaways. And I'm going to announce the giveaway winner. What I'll do is I'll pin the comment, like I always do, about a week from today. So on this date, I will pin the comment of the winner and uh, we'll set up getting uh, that stuff shipped to you. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video today. I had a lot of fun doing it. It was just a, it was a little fun morning on the water. As always, I hope y'all have a good one. I hope you learned something today and uh, I hope you win these baits. Good luck and I'll see you on the next one. Later.